You mentioned conversational media. I want to I want to just talk about that for a second. <laughs> Ready to rock, baby. Come on. Hi, everyone. I'm Travis Montague, founder and CEO of Holler, and this is Conversation Nation. I'm joined with John Ozzy Osborne, uh, CEO of OMD. Ozzy, great to have you. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm not that Ozzy Osbourne, but because I have the last name that I do, everybody, including my friends, calls me Ozzy. So I have been the proud CEO of OMD in the United States for the past four years, give or take. And about four years ago, I came from a creative shop, one of the world's top creative shops, BBDO, where I had spent a 25 year career you know, taking what I learned in creative and marrying that to some of the volume and velocity and the explosive growth and innovation being fueled through media. I've been very, very fortunate to be able to work with great people, great clients and do some great things over the years. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, because of your experience, I mean, I think you you bring a really unique perspective to the, to the show. Um, and so, my first question for you, Ozzy, is as an agency leader with many of years of experience in this space, you know, what do you believe today's consumers are expecting from brands or craving from brands? Consumers have high expectations of brands. So certainly transparency, honesty, you know, given that trust is at a premium right now. And frankly, authenticity, it's, a, it's an overused word, but it really is probably more important today than it ever at, at, at any time in the past. We're, we're trying to create messaging that has a sense of purpose to it, but all of our messaging has to be intentional and we've got to be respectful on finding the best ways to engage with those consumers in a world where they're being bombarded by more and more messaging, even at times that they don't want to be engaged. Things like social media have given consumers more of a voice and be able to vocalize their preferences these days. Do you think that that has had an impact on how uh, you have been, th you and OMD have been thinking about uh, how to make recommendations to clients around how, how to be more authentic and how to meet the consumers where they are and what they're looking for? I think so, because every single person in the United States, every single person in the world, if you want to think globally, you know, they've got a voice. And now through various platforms, you know, they're free to express their opinion and they will have opinions. For, for good or for bad. And we have to earn their respect. We have to earn their trust. But I also think that we can use our tools, our data and our solutions to be able to rapidly test consumer sentiment. So we know a heck of a lot more today than we did even 12 months ago. And I think that you know through the pandemic, a lot of that innovation, a lot of that technological advancement has fast forwarded in a way that nobody could have imagined. Have you seen brands take new steps and test out new methods of advertising to meet consumers more meaningfully, given that the pandemic has changed your lives in such a meaningful and dramatic way? I think so. I'm not totally sure this was born out of the pandemic, but I think the pandemic has caused a rapid intensification around testing and learning and try out different techniques in terms of delivering messaging. We like to talk about learning fast and acting fast. Speed, I think, was born out of the pandemic. I'm not necessarily so sure that the ideas have been born out of the pandemic. I think, you know, at Holler, as we, we, we've certainly seen um, a lot of innovation and, and been happy to work with really forward and progressive agencies like OMD to kind of test new approaches and navigate, help to the best we can navigate these kind of emerging spaces like conversational media and others um, that are kind of, kind of where the, the, the puck has gone uh, with respect Absolutely. to how- Absolutely, so you mentioned conversational media. I wanna, I wanna just talk about that for a second. People are craving and searching for new kinds of experiences. So I think they expect more than simply being served an ad dynamic creative content and how we deliver it doesn't have to be horrible. It can be exciting, different, 
and offering surprise and delight in different ways. Again, I believe that you guys and, and Holler are really on the forefront of that. I think conversational media is a new form of, of an experience and experiences, given what we've been going through in the pandemic, I do believe that consumers and people in general are craving more experiences and now through platforms like Holler, working in, in concert with some of our brands, we're able to achieve that. You know, it's funny, when I started uh, uh, Holler and, 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 and talking about conversational media as a channel, a lot of people ask me the question, do consumers want brands a part of their messages and a part of their conversations? Brands are a part of culture. Brands are a part of self-expression and brands have a natural place in conversation and, and it kind of goes back connected to the point that you just said which is it does it, it, it doesn't have to be horrible right like right. if it's done really well and and brands figure out how they most meaningfully get become a part of the conversation I, uh, I agree wholeheartedly with you and that's a perfect example of that you know why it's so important to recognize the intersection of content and context context is everything and context will ultimately determine how brands interact and engage with consumers and vice versa. I do believe that. Content is king and context is queen, right? In a world where there's like changing privacy laws and you know, there's things around I I identity and et cetera, et cetera, what do you think brands need to be thinking about more broadly, like around um, the kind of changing landscape and how they reach consumers in that regard. If you're if you're sitting waiting for it to happen, it'll be too late. So, but my friend, the times they are indeed a change in, and whether it's the laws or whether it's changing privacy policies on some of the big platforms, we understand it. We're on top of it. We've been planning for it, and um, there are ways using other tools and techniques and leveraging other partners for us to be more roughly right than precisely wrong. And I think that's the name of the game. At the onset of the pandemic, did you see advertising, what was kind of the most significant pivots or shifts that you saw in advertising at the onset of the pandemic? And do you think that any of these approaches, uh, advertising approaches have changed forever as a result of that? So I remember like a lot of the advertising that I remember earlier on in the pandemic were brands that would stand strong. And a lot of the messaging was around coming together. We're all in this together, you know. Um, so I think purpose-driven work really was at a premium early on. So I think like brands have, that really stick out in my minds are the ones that probably struck just the right tone in terms of a purpose-driven message and what those companies it's, it's a slippery slope right because you don't want to come across as like taking advantage of the pandemic yeah. Yeah. but you just want to create the right tone that reflects the core values of the company and then you've got like you know technology and digital platforms and like things that you're more familiar with that was also coming up and again we were doing more test and learn so there was a lot of great work and there was a lot of great learning through the pandemic that certainly won't we won't let go to waste. But no, I don't want to go through another pandemic. And if that's your next question, I can unequivocally tell you with full certainty, I never want to go through this kind of a thing again. I've seen brands, it's almost like they exercise the muscle where they've gotten so much better at addressing like all of these, whether it was the, the political arrest, social unrest, you know, uh, the times. I feel like brands have gotten a lot more graceful in how they participate in those conversations. And those things are just carrying, those learnings are carrying uh, through all future messaging on how they're handling things is just kind of a status quo, which Absolutely. is really good to see. So Absolutely. Um, if anything, Absolutely. If, if sometimes you learn through the fire, but uh, you know, I think every a lot of brands have come out stronger uh, and more equipped uh, on the other side of the the kind of pandemic and looking forward. You know, this has been a great conversation to, to kind of wrap things up here. Is there anything that you're excited about or looking ahead um, or things that you're, you're paying attention to uh, that you think that you'd like to note? I'm very optimistic in talking with a lot of our clients and what they're seeing in terms of the road ahead as people feel safer getting onto airplanes or going into sports arenas. My expectation and my hope, but my expectation is that we'll continue. 
So I'm really looking forward to seeing, <clears throat> I think a return to better experiences. Um, yeah. And those experiences, I, I'm gonna go out a little bit on a limb here, maybe pre-pandemic, just maybe we took some of that for granted. And I, and I think that we're gonna continue to see a premium on test and learn, on driving innovation, and of making sure those engagements really are offering you know, something not only for the advertiser, but we, I think that the consumers and the customers that we're talking to, you know, we need to earn their respect and their trust and we have to offer them something in return as well, so. I can't wait, thank you for coming on and, and chatting with me for a bit and I can't wait till we do this face to face but hey great. man i would have i, I would have come to you i would have i would have come to you to your apartment i would have i, I would have been there i'm ready to go i'm vaxxed to the max and ready to rock baby come on all right we'll make it happen soon we'll make it happen soon thanks buddy all right thanks nice, nice to see you take care